some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Detroit, Michigan, where a softard is at a pre-trial hearing to determine when his uh, upcoming jury trial will be. And, uh, well, he tries to argue with the judge about several uh, cases that he has no idea what they mean to begin with. And, uh, well, the judge ends up... Uh, trying to educate him, but, you know, he's just too damn thick-headed to even understand. And he even states at one point that he is pretty much above the law anyway. Oh yeah, that kind of guy. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right. Calling the matters of the people versus Timothy Talley Williams. This is ticket SP. I'm gonna just call his ticket numbers. Mm -hmm. Ticket SP 146680 count one, two and three. Ticket SP 146713 count one. Ticket SP 1283889 count one. Ticket SP 1452302 counts one, two, and three. Ticket SP 1283888 counts one, two, and three. Ticket SP 1411848 counts one, two, and three. Ticket SP 141840 counts one, two, and three. Ticket SX 2454328 counts one and two. Ticket SP 1409983 count one. Ticket SP 1409982. Counts one and two. Appearances for the record, starting with uh, Mr. Williams, who's representing himself. It's okay, it's okay Attorney Vinick. He's representing himself. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Mr. Williams, can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Timothy, for the record, here by special visitation. Oh, you're here for special visitation. Uh, you know, I was going to go there, but, you know, I don't think so. No, I'm not going to play that joke. I'm not going to go with that kind of special joke right there. I mean, it's just too easy. No, no, there's nothing you could do that make me do that joke. Uh, no, uh, sorry. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, he could be special all he wants, but it's not going to uh, fly that way. I mean, I'm sure he's special in his own kind of way, but no, no, no. I mean, he's special because he drinks a lot of lead paint, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about anything else that's special about him. So let's carry on, shall we? All right, and um, this is the date and time set for a final pretrial in this matter. We are scheduled for a jury trial on Monday. Um, Attorney Mason has tendered to the court um, a witness list in this matter, as well as um, a special jury instruction um, served for you to be able to see in this particular matter. Um, and let me ask again for the record, uh, you know, you have the right to have an attorney. Would you like to have an attorney for you in these matters, sir? Well, for the, for the record, I'm here to serve a default judgment. I serve you, Andy and Mason, the affidavit. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> uh, yeah, default judgment. Uh, yeah, the... Uh... Case hasn't even really started yet. We're still a pre at a pre-trial phase, you moron. Are you sure you don't want that lawyer, you uh well, lack brain moron? Back. You did, and I'm in I'm in receipt. Oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Keep going. Yes, on the first, and I gave you 15 days. All in it was 23 days I gave you, and I haven't received a rebuttal. So I served you guys with a default and i'm here to i don't know what judgment. a default is so there's no default judgments in criminal matters these are criminal matters so the only default that we have is if you don't appear to answer for a ticket then the default that goes into place is your failure to answer for a ticket once it's established and it's here i don't have to establish why these are tickets on the docket that's why they have 
the the jury and the and the bench trial options for you. Um, these have been, been matters that have been um, unless there's been a motion about um, the a formally written motion about illegal stop or some constitutional viol violation. These tickets are considered to be valid and true. Oh, what else you got, soft hard? Because it looks like uh, you tried to pull a uh, old switcheroo on the uh, courts right here, and you ended up falling flat on your freaking face. Way to go! You're a complete moron. No, I answered the affidavit of non-corporate okay. existence. So, uh, so, Mr. Williams, the, the answer to the question today is whether you're going to trial on Monday or not. That's all I'm here for. Well, you guys haven't rebutted my affidavit. Mr. Williams, again, I'm going to say, Mr. Williams, again, the question for today is whether you're going to trial on Monday or not. That's all. I have officers present. I have officers uh, Evans present. I have Officer McCree present. I don't know if Officer Bush is coming as well, but they are here today to know whether or not they're going to be ready for trial on Monday. We set this jury trial out a long time ago for this trial on Monday. So are we and going to trial... Officers? What officer? We have Officer uh, Evans and Officer McCree present today. Man, and Judge, officer I have Bush Officer Nunley. Uh, he's trying to check in right now. Phase on okay. Nunley. Officer okay. Bush is here also. Thank you, Officer Bush. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's Evans Williams. Okay, say thank you, Officer Bush. Okay, we're going to trial. Okay. So Monday we go to trial. Um, do you have a witness list or no, it's just you, Mr. Williams? Yes, I have three witnesses. Okay, I need to know their names. They need to be provided to counsel. So you have to write them down and do a witness list. Okay. Okay, witnesses. I wonder if they were actually at the traffic stop or are they just uh, some soft hard friends of yours who will spout off the same BS that you've been indoctrinated with. I mean, if that's the case, then uh, you have no witnesses. Uh, Mr. Uh, Williams, can you just I email me there? We've you. been emailing, Your Honor. Uh, he has my okay. email and I have his. So you can email me those witnesses, and I'll uh, amend my witness list as well, Mr. Williams, so you'll know who mine are as well. Okay. All right. All right. So it's at 9.30 a.m. We'll start to get that jury picked on Monday. Oh, and there's also... All right. So now I have a whole slew of officers who are checked in. Officers, this is a jury trial. So it's an in-person jury trial on Monday. In-person jury trial on Monday, 9.30 a.m. at courtroom 337 at 36 District Court this Monday. And once we get the jury all sworn in, then we will proceed with testimony that day, hopefully in the afternoon. Any uh, Anything else for you, Mr. Williams? I know I'm glad to hear y'all been talking back and forth um, through email so that we can make sure we're ready to push forward on Monday. Anything else you want to say for the record, Mr. Williams? No, that'll be it. Okay. All right. Attorney Mason, do you have anything for the record? Uh, I just want to get a tally of my officers who are present today, just to make sure. I've got Officer Nunley, Officer Bush, Officer Evans, Officer Faison. I mean, Nunley. I'm sorry. I said Nunley, Evans, Bush, McCree. Uh, anybody I'm missing? Okay. Uh, and Mr. Williams, I will amend my witness list for you, and I'll email that over to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, then that is our, the remaining tickets. Are we, are we? We all set. Think with those attorney Mason or no? Today, are we waiting until Monday? Um, yeah, any officers that are not here today, Your Honor, we can uh, dispense with those tickets. I appreciate that. Um, so that is a few tickets. That's going to be ticket number SP1283889. SP one two eight three eight 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 SP one four one one eight four eight 
and SX2454328. Um, those officers did not appear today. Um, I know it's just the, the um, final pretrial, so I'll just put that. I won't necessarily so mark them tickets? absent. What so what tickets remain, Mr. Williams? Okay, let me tell you, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you have a drive unregistered untitled motor vehicle and drove while unlicensed and a no proof of insurance. That's one officer. The next officers are uh, open alcohol driver, tinted windows, no seat belt, no driver's license, no insurance, untitled motor vehicle. And then the final officer is going to be drive unregistered motor vehicle, no insurance, no license ever acquired, and tinted windows. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of charges. But what really concerns me is driving around without insurance uh, right there. Are you one of these idiots who uh, just doesn't believe in insurance or anything like that? I mean, good freaking grief, dude. What if you hit somebody you and you hurt them? I mean, how are you going to pay for it? I mean, that, you know, that is what insurance is for. So you don't really have to pay too much out of pocket but of course uh, morons like you just can't freaking figure that kind of thing out now can you okay and your honor if i may uh, interject since he does have an email i can uh, copy those tickets and uh, email them over to him Please. so that he can have them i'll come down and Thanks. get those and i will I email those tickets over to you mr williams okay so that way for, you can see what for the, the record ticket can we is if, are we able to argue these Matters right now, or are we going to trial? Hey, uh, I know you have a bit of an empty head, uh, soft heart. I mean, but you really need to fill that space in with some uh, gray matter because then you'd realize the trial is the place to argue these things. It is not during the pretrial hearings, it, it is during the actual trial. So, uh, let me ask you something, Softard. If you can't even be bothered to figure that out, how the hell are you going to make it through the trial without getting uh, yourself into deeper crap? You Is said you want to have a trial. What you want? Yeah, you well, want to talk to Attorney like, Mason? What was that? I said you want to talk to Attorney Mason just briefly in a breakout room and see if y'all can resolve any of the tickets. Well, I just we was just emailing, and I don't know if it meant anything to her, so that's why I wouldn't just take the trial. And well, because you can't say I just want you to dismiss it because I'm not a citizen. That's not gonna work. Or I, I just want you. Oh to no, that's not it. it. I got law stating that all this is frivolous, and but I'm saying, do we can we argue this right now, or do we? Okay, okay, you got uh, you got uh, laws stating that all this is frivolous, huh? Well, first things first, uh, do you even have the right laws? Are these the laws that uh, are actually on the books, or are they laws that, uh, well, uh, the fake laws that uh, Sovtards come up with that uh, they pass around to each other? And second of all, I really don't think you know what frivolous really means. A lot of people will today? say the laws are frivolous. Well, yes, if you have some argument that you would like to make, you can make it that way I can rule, and that way we can go to, if we're going to move forward to trial, we can go to trial. One second, though. Off the record, just for one okay. moment. Christopher Williams, can you hear me? Because Attorney Vinick or Attorney Zoranik, he's been trying to sign on. He's on his phone. I'm trying to get him to mute star six mm -hmm. so someone can talk to him. Star six, sir. Star six. Christopher Williams, hit star six on your phone. Star six, sir. You need your honor. 
Yes, Attorney Soroki. Yeah, you know, if you like, I can speak to uh, Mr. Wo Timothy Williams in a breakout room for a few minutes, explain the legal system to him. Yes. Can you? No, sir. Do you want to make your argument first, Mr. Williams, or do you want Attorney Soroki? Just he wants to give you a little feedback. That no, way no. you'll be prepared for Monday's trial. No? All right. He doesn't want it, Attorney Soroki. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. I'm sorry, sir, but... Uh... Yeah, this dude is a sovereign citizen, and he thinks he knows everything about the law, but so far, he has proven himself to be completely ignorant of the law. And therefore, I don't understand why he just uh, completely denied your uh, service, unless he thinks he can do it on his own. Uh, and of course, he thinks he can do it on his own, because he thinks he knows everything. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. We're going to try and call that gentleman who called in. In the meantime, um, back on the record in the matter of the people versus Timothy Williams. Can I have appearances? First, Attorney Mason, then Attorney, then Mr. Williams. For the record, Your Honor, D.H. Chiku Mason, City of Detroit, 43471. All right. Mr. Williams. Yes, yeah, Timothy before the court, here by special appearance okay. as a state citizen, right. not a U.S. citizen. Okay. That's very interesting. So you're renouncing your U.S. citizenship and uh, only uh, going with your state citizenship. Uh, how does that work? Because, well, in order to be a citizen of a particular state in the Union, you first have to be a citizen of the United States. If you denounce your uh, citizenship as a U.S. citizen, and you denounce your citizenship of your state of origin as well. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. I mean, you also got to take into consideration that there are certain protections under the Constitution that you are also giving up. I mean, come on now, dude. Think about this kind of thing. Changes every time. All right, you want to make a, a motion or uh, you want to make an argument as to these tickets, you can go ahead at this time, Mr. Williams. Okay, for the record, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, All right, for the record, uh, Shapiro versus Thompson states that all citizens must be free to travel throughout the United States uninhibited by statutes, rules, or regulations, which unreasonable burden or restrict movement. Yeah, dude, that's a nice little quote mine right there. Uh, but you know what? It's not the actual ruling of the case. So you might want to rethink your strategy because, well, I'm sure the judge could tear it apart very easily if she has the time to look up the case when she's not busy dealing with idiots like you. Did you get that? I'm listening. I'm just writing down. You see, I got my notepad. Okay. I'm writing down okay. notes. And then to Murdoch versus Pennsylvania, the Supreme Court decided that a state cannot arbitrarily or erroneously convert a secure liberty in this case a secure right to travel into a privilege and charge of or issue of a hold on uh, uh, a state can't arbitrarily or erroneously convert a secure liberty into a privilege wow dude uh, you're just a uh not hitting any of it right now. That particular case has nothing to do with the right to travel. I mean, could you at least give us something useful to use? I mean, it, you're you're not doing so great right now. And issue a license and fee for it, meaning we don't need license or insurance to travel throughout the land. And... Murdoch versus Pennsylvania states. Uh, 
mistake in versus secure living to a privilege. No, shuttle the shuttles were versus Pennsylvania. No, Shuttlesworth versus Birmingham, Alabama. You can ignore the license and engage in the right with impunity if you happen to have a license. Okay, uh, I see that you are still grossly misinformed or have not even bothered to do your research because this was a civil rights uh, racial segregation case, you blooming idiot. So uh, please, at least uh, they'll do a little bit more research before you make yourself look like a complete and total moron. So let's move on and see what else you got because... This is getting very irritatingly stupid. And back to Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. No state may convert a secure liberty into a privilege. So no state has a right to require you to have a license. Hold on. Okay, so that's your argument as far as um, no state can um, force you to have a license. Require. Because it's a constitutional right to travel. Which is our First Amendment. Oh my goodness, now you would be pissing off the First Amendment auditors out there because now they would be jumping down your throat about uh it's not in the first amendment as far as the right to travel you freaking moron i mean come on that please oh my goodness i don't have the words for this anymore okay you know security versus murdoch, versus, murdoch versus pennsylvania he was in prison arguing about the vaccination you know, that's part of what Shakira versus Thompson was talking about, right? No. Shakira versus Thompson. Yes. If I'm looking at the right one, you're talking about Shakira versus Thompson. Sergeant Thompson? Shapiro versus Thompson. Secure Rowland? Shapiro. S H A P I R O. Verse Thompson. And then Murdoch versus Pennsylvania states that no state can convert a secure liberty into a privilege. Hello. Hello. Is this you, yeah, Mr. This Christopher is Williams? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me put you into a breakout room so that you can speak with an attorney about your case today. Yes, ma'am. Put them in breakout room number five. Attorney Vinick, if you don't mind, or Attorney Soroki, either one. I'll take him. That's fine. Let's see. Okay. She wouldn't do. She already beat me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Judge, if so, I can put uh, Christopher Bush in a breakout room, talk to him right quick, or. Can you can? I'm reading this case. So this right to travel was about a welfare case, Mr. Williams, where she wanted to go to a different state, and mm -hmm. they told her that because she didn't have established resident residency, in that that she was going to be denied services. 
Right, and that violated her. Right, because it's talking right, about services. She needed to take care of her child. She was 19 and she was pregnant. But you avoid the effects of the case. They, even though that she filed a lawsuit against the state for denying her, her privileges, but the Supreme Court right. ruled that the, the, the Supreme Court ruled that that can't happen because that'd be violating that also be violating her right to travel throughout the states, throughout the to land. receive the benefits that she needs in order to take care of herself and her child. Yes, but you're missing the argument that the Supreme Court has stated that'll be violating her First Amendment right. Goodness, the First Amendment auditors are going to get pissy with this guy once again. It's not the First Amendment, you freaking jack wagon. I mean, uh, and then there's the uh, issue that you're completely missing right here. The judge is trying to tell you that this case had nothing to do with the right to travel. It had the everything to do with getting services. Uh, for her child from another state. Oh my goodness, you're hard headed. And it's not going to work out for you. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Travel. You see that ruling? I don't want you to miss that fact. That's what they ruled. They said the closest the Supreme Court has come to overturning Shapiro Thomas was in 1995 with Anderson versus Green. California Welfare and Interstate Code Annotated Section instituted a one-year residency requirement for welfare aid, violating Shapiro versus Thompson. Both lower courts in California affirmed that that violated Shapiro versus Thompson and granted the interjection injunction. I'm, I'm sorry. Due to the procedural issue, California's residency requirement never went into effect, creating no uh, justifiable controversy action and no actual issuance for the court to rule on whether they receive a waiver from the secretary of health or human services to set aside shapiro versus thompson making the res residency requirements pseudo legal the waiver was challenged again and it's holding that the state court and the secretary of hhs had not adequately considered public comment on the issues So this just talks solely about, even talks about the social impact. The social impact and the legal impact is that you can go different places and we as the governments of each state still have a requirement to take care of those citizens within our state. This is about welfare. Yeah, no. this is about the this? welfare system and the ability now for look. people. You cannot stop people from traveling. I don't see anything in decision, here about a driver's this, license. This, look, the decision of the court. The right, court, she has the right look. to go places. Look, the, re the court reaffirmed the right to travel under the 14th Amendment Privilege and Immunities Clause in Suez versus Roe. So they conferred it to another right. case. But right. the conclusion of the case like that would be violating her right to travel. It could have exactly. something to do with the welfare, but it's violating her right to travel. It's all it's about that. Right because travel. the reason why we can't prohibit her from being able to travel or to go to another state is because then they're saying once she gets to that state, she has to establish some type of residency. And what they're saying is that if she doesn't have that residency, she wouldn't get the services needed. And so they're saying you can't say, oh, you can't go to the state and not get the, the, the stuff that you need to take care of yourself and your family just because you're not. I can't stop her. I can't say you can't move to the state and then we're going to block everything. I can't, I can't do that. Right. This is not it's about a license. The right to travel. No, that was the decision of the court. I'm not making that up. You aren't, but you're not understanding what their decision was based on. Yes, you have the right to travel, but this is concerning services. So if I chose to carry a weapon, I would be bearing arms. If you chose to carry a weapon um, in the state of in Illinois, that's an automatic. You're not allowed to carry weapons at all in the state of Illinois unless you're a law enforcement officer. <laughs> But I'm so if you traveled over the state lines and you went to Illinois and you tried to carry a gun, they would tell you no. But that's irrelevant, Your Honor. We're talking about the state of Michigan. I have a right to bear arms, but you will call it receiving exactly. 
But the well, Constitution of Michigan states that I can bear arms. But because we'll once again, and we had this conversation already, the states can make stuff more. The lo localities can make stuff. Um, they can, and it's a state law, anyways. But they they can be harsher than the U.S. Constitution, but they can do something that would take away from the U.S. Constitution. So you don't, they're not taking away your right to bear arms. They're just putting parameters around that right. And that is something that I argue in so many of my videos, that the states have the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. But as long as these laws don't violate the Constitution, all they're really doing is, like she said, setting a bit more parameters around the civil liberties that are covered in the Constitution. And recently it was challenged at the Court of Appeals when someone tried to say that the people have the right to bear arms and that seeing a bulge or doing stuff like that didn't equate to it. And the Court of Appeals has said and ruled that that does give probable cause for an officer to ask about whether or not they have the licensing because the state has determined that they need to have the licensing. So if the state determines that there needs to be a certain licensing in place and that rule or that is, is violated, then, then that, has to, that has to go forward. But that's, that's kind of irrelevant. Okay. And like Murdoch versus Pennsylvania say no state can convert a secure liberty into a privilege. Our secure liberty, our secure liberty, First Amendment is the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. Right to travel throughout the United States of America. Right. Freely and unencumbered. We're not causing harm to anybody. We just obeying the constitutional rights. Exercising our constitutional rights, which is the court is here to help protect them. I'm relying on the constitutional rights. I'm not just out here willfully nilly, like United States versus Bishop, uh, United States versus Bishop. But you are, because you're only taking the part that you want to be applied to you. So you are out here willy nilly. Because if you no, were, that's, that's if you were true. following, no, no, no. If you were following everything, you would want to follow everything and all the rules that were put into place. So, so all that. No, I'm, I'm following, following laws, you're not following rules. what you want to follow. And that's that's no. We talked about how that leads to anarchy. People can't do whatever they want to do. Not, they not, say that I can follow only this. That's no. That's like me coming one day and saying I want to practice law and I want to be a judge and I haven't gone through any of the things to become a judge. That's not how it works. I see how you put it. I can't it, sit up there with a fake key number. They wouldn't let me do that. I see how you put it, but that's not true. What about Title 18 USC Section 241? That's about civil rights, not civil liberties. You need to stop confusing those things, and especially has nothing to do with traffic laws, you bloody moron, because that would be covered under uh, the 10th Amendment. So, yeah, you might want to actually uh, read these things. So, Williams, do you want a trial on Monday or not? You uh, can't yeah, argue go, this stuff to yeah, the jury. Yeah, I want to trial, but I can't. Okay. You can't argue this stuff to the jury. You can, you can argue that maybe something making sure that they didn't check the things like you have to follow the law i have to treat you as an attorney in that place on monday so i have to treat that you know how to practice and and go about the way of law and these these different things like you can't just give the jury um cases and stuff like that that's not what it's going to be about and you'll most likely end up with objections that I'll have to sustain because it's going to be talking about the facts of these particular cases where the officers came today to show up. So it has to stick to those things about what the officers came to to argue about or what Attorney Mason will make the argument for and officers came to testify about. What are they testifying about? About these different stops. Which is unlawful. Different like Okay. Well, you, I gave you plenty of time to write a motion about unlawful, and you did not want to. <laughs> so now we're here. I, I gave you affidavit stating the facts, what you needed, and exactly. And the facts are to be argued before a jury. If they differ from these facts, that on the tickets, we're here to talk about these tickets. 
I've already made my ruling long ago that they had the right to stop it. And that these tickets are the tickets for which they wrote them for. Yes, they have a they have a right to stop persons, but I'm not a person. I'm a human being. I have no contract with the Secretary of State. I'm traveling. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm All not right. in the. I'm not driving for gain or profit. I'm going to point A to point B. Not violating nobody rights. I'm just traveling freely. Like I exercise my constitutional rights. Okay, uh, you want to go that route? Okay, then. Uh, well. Michigan, like every other state, does require you to have a driver's license, you freaking moron. And if you want to argue that, uh, well, you want that you want to just go by state law, well, the state law, Michigan does have that as well. It also has that uh, there are differentiations between the uh, regular driver's licenses, commercial driver's licenses, and everything else, dude. So. Yeah, once again, you fail to do any bit of research and make yourself look like a completed total moron. So you, what you need to do is go back to school and uh, learn how to do research. I'm mean, a lot better this time. Like Title 18 USC, Section 241. Can you look, look that up? We talked about, we had, I let you have a whole hour of time to discuss all of these previously, Mr. Williams. We talked about all of these, and at the end, I made the ruling that the court did have jurisdiction and that the officers could write tickets. You have and explained that jurisdiction. I don't have to explain anything. It's not my job to explain it. But you said Listen, you did explain, but, but, but you didn't. But I said I allowed you to explain it. Do you but need to burden, put it up on but YouTube? The, but the burden is I don't on the have prosecutor. To. Right. Not on me. I'm the court. I just call and balls and strikes. Can, and the prosecutor That's cannot state can. how she has jurisdiction. Okay. Attorney Mason, do you want to state how you have jurisdiction over these matters? Statute provides us with the jurisdiction over this matter. The statutes and the laws of the court provide us the jurisdiction over these matters. Matters? That's I'm subject. In, I am empowered by the state, I am empowered by my bar card, which has been submitted to the state of Michigan. I'm empowered by the city of Detroit. Does she still to be a I had a judge that she not stating how she has jurisdiction over. She's telling you it's by the statutes. The statutes that were given. Is, the the statutes state. is not law. Dumbass, you dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Okay. I'm by the law. So you want us to call the laws? Laws are statutes. They're the same thing. It's just it's a fancy way of saying laws. Statutes no, are just a statutes, fancy way of saying statutes laws. Statutes are persuasive. The laws okay. are mandatory. Mr. These are laws. Okay, statutes are laws. That's just a fancy way of saying laws. Yeah, they derive from the law. At you this got, point, Your Honor, I'm going to rules and regulations. I'm, I'm going I'm, to uh, just uh, make a motion that the uh, you, you know that we these matters have already been resolved. Uh, that the court has previously stated that uh, the trial was set forth regarding the facts of the incidents that have arise, and that the witnesses will testify only to the facts uh, regarding the tickets. What are okay. the facts? The facts are the things on the on the tickets. So you have to research the law and find and out exactly what each one is to, to show. According to Michigan Vehicle Code. 257 744A police officers yeah. knowingly police officers knowingly police hey, where I'm at? police officers who knowingly <laughs> make a false statement on the citation is unlawful. Okay. I travel with a passport. My ID been canceled since 2018, so none of that is true. Just because you cancel your ID, and this is the last argument for today, and then we're just going to have trial on Monday. Just because you cancel your ID doesn't mean now you have the right to drive in the state of Michigan. It just, that's not the law of this state. When you avail yourselves of the roads, the lights, the, the, the streets, the anything, once you avail, once you take place, once you take part on those items, then you automatically allow yourself to avail yourself to any laws that are being taken place 
any statues that are being taken place, any codes that are taking place, all of those now become active. Whether you want them to or not, there's no, I active. don't want them to. They become yes. active when you agree to the stipulations. You don't have to agree. It does not say that. We have stuff called strict liability crimes. And, 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 and those are crimes that automatically kick into place whether you agree for them or not. And that's what these are. Whether you agree or not, they are things that must happen. So, I agree that I'll, certain people. I agree. Nine thirty. I, I see I agree everybody certain, at nine thirty. Listen, either you're gonna take I care agree of anything. I agree that certain persons need to be governed, but everybody is not to be governed. Okay. We have we, certain right. people know how to govern ourselves. So I'm. That's right. Oh, okay. So you're basically stating that none of the laws apply to you. Okay, then. You know. Uh, yeah. There's a place for you out there uh we'll just uh we'll just have to uh drop you off on an island somewhere if you don't think that uh, any of our law laws apply to you yeah uh i think we can find a nice little island for you just off the coast of india uh, even though india has outlawed people people from going there for uh good enough reasons it's called sentinel island i mean uh Last time somebody tried to go there, uh, well, uh, it didn't end well for them. So, yeah, uh, you might want to uh, go over there and uh, learn to live like they do. That's if they even welcome you on that island. Judge, I'll come but down I'm, and pick I'm, up I'm the here, tickets here, and uh, copy, copy them. Okay. Thank you. That concludes this hearing. So we all set? Yes. I'll see you Monday at 930 in person for your trial. Okay. All right. Jury trial. All right. Well, you blooming moron. Good luck with your uh, jury trial because, well, you've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that uh, you couldn't argue your way out of a wet paper bag. And that is truly, truly sad. You truly don't know how the law works. You truly don't know how the court system works. And therefore, you're done screwed. You screwed. You screwed. So, yeah, have fun with that. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?